I am Dean Bryson of the Bureau of Freshwater and Biological Monitoring, and I am the supervisor of our laboratory uh, here at our Arctic Parkway complex. Uh, in this laboratory, we process and identify uh, our benthic macroinvertebrate samples that are collected as part of our ambient macroinvertebrate network. Hi, my name is Anna Marie Signor, and I'm an environmental specialist too at the Bureau of Freshwater and Biological Monitoring. My primary role is a macroverba taxonomist for our AMNET program, and I do go out in the field occasionally and help with collecting the macroverba samples from our AMNET sites. Hi, my name is Ishmael Sukar, and I work for the Bureau of Freshwater Water and Biological Monitoring as an environmental specialist. Uh, I primarily help with the uh, sampling and, and the sorting and identification of the insects here at the lab. Our samples collected in the field are preserved in the field and, and brought to here at Arctic Parkway for processing. Initially, our samples are uh, rinsed under a fume hood to remove preservatives and fine sediment in a sieve. Once they're cleaned, transferred to a gridded pan, the contents are evenly distributed in that pan, and from there, Grids are randomly selected using a, a random number table. All the contents of the grid are transferred to a petri dish in an organized, thorough manner under, under low power using a dissecting microscope. All the macroinvertebrates are removed and placed into a smaller petri dish. Once 100 organisms are obtained, those 100 organisms are identified to what we call lowest practical level, which for us, our goal is to identify everything to the genus level using various keys we have for the different taxa that are present in the samples. Macroinvertebrates can include things like worms, snails, clams, as well as immature forms of different insects that eventually will turn into adults and become a flying insect. The most recognizable kind of thing would be damselfly or dragonfly, which you see flying around various times, but there's other more smaller things, more gnat-like insects that are also present. And so we'll identify the immature that we find in our samples down to at least genus level. Once we have all the organisms identified, we will write up the count and the, the number of the count and taxa that we find. That information will be inputted into our AMNET database from which our index score and rating are calculated. 